Mississauga Chargers, last place in the South Division. Fury perhaps caught thinking to be easy. Stefan Alonzo pass back for Joseph Malinaro. He's going to make it one to nothing. Two and a half minutes in for Mississauga. Fury on a power play now, but they can't keep it in. And Vince Figlomini is in on a break. Tyler Fever bails his team out from a possible embarrassing 2 0 deficit, but they would sort themselves out in a hurry. Jonathan O'Hara drops for Davis Cuxis. He fires home to tie the game at one each. Less than a minute later, Matt Fisher goes high on Alex Lepore, catches the top corner for the lead at 2 to 1. After Cuxis scored a second of the night, Nick Corrick gets this pass through a sliding defender to Daniel Robertson. He shows good hands at the side of the goal. That's going to make it. 4 to 1. For the end of the period, Cuxis has his third point of the night. He throws the puck out to Kevin Nemanjo. The slow start, now a distant memory as the Fury have a 5 to 1 lead. Figlio Marini one on one with Justin Bram, but the rookie forces him to the outside, taking away the opportunity. In the second period, the Fury keep it coming. Cuxis to Kevin Nemanjo, and he'll muck it out for Ryan Erickson, and he will score his second goal since coming over from Hamilton. Chargers with a two-man advantage, and they will capitalize on that extra space. Nice passing finished off here by Thomas Letabo. Fury on a power play. Stefan von Engelbrecken finds Cork. He outweights Mitchell Heck now in goal before even going high for their eighth goal of the night. Two and a half minutes later, O'Hara picks out von Engelbrecken, and he'll rip a shot that pops the water bottle. 9-3 now, and they aren't quite done. Matt Fisher has an easy tap in here to give the Fury their first double-digit goal outburst since defeating Pickering 10-3 October 2008. And that's the final in this one. Nick Corrick had a goal and five helpers. O'Hara, Demanio, and Cuxis all enjoyed four-point nights. They put a shaky first two minutes behind them to get the big win. You know, it, it was a slow start, you know, we, we kind of kept in their pace, but then once the game got, got going, you know, we started playing our own game and, you know, just doing everything, just, just keeping the game simple and chipping pucks and getting things deep and just working their tee down low and using our speed and that's how, you know, we just ended up taking them down. Yeah, we definitely did have a slow start. Uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit coming into the game thinking that we were definitely going to beat them, but uh, for sure we picked it up. A couple of bad plays at the beginning, but I think we fixed that. We've been uh, working a lot on our power play. Some games it's not so great, some games it's good. So tonight it worked out for us. I, I, I think we worked the puck around pretty well. Um, you know, some, some of the shifts were a little long, you know, here and there, but, you know, we kept them hemmed in for sure. And, uh, you know, just our, our game plan was just get pucks to the net, and I think we did that. I think we got quite a few shots, you know, at least three or four or five every, every power play. So, you know, I think that's a good positive to take out of this game.